There he is. I think that's a grover. Shark. That's the needles. Whoa. Let's go. Oh my God. Duh. Ah. You're gonna meet Earl, my friend. Spaghetti's on the menu for Earl. All right, Early. Here you go, buddy. Now, before we go out and film, Jack and I always like to have a big meal before we go out and catch a bunch of fish, be out in the sun all day. We always like to eat a nice big meal before getting out there. And today's video is sponsored by Factor and they have some awesome quick meals. So you guys know, Jack and I are always super busy. We're always out filming. We barely have any time to like sit down, and prep any meals. So that's why Factor is perfect for us. The Factor, we get to skip the extra step of going to the grocery store, chopping, prepping, and cleaning up while still getting all the flavor and nutritional quality that we need. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. So all you gotta do is heat and enjoy and then get back to crushing your goals. In me and Jack's case, crushing the videos. Choose from 34 plus flavor packed, dietitian approved meals ready to eat in just two minutes. So you guys can head over to factor75.com or click the link below in the description box and use code BARBS50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Now I'm gonna crush this and then we're gonna go out and film. Let's do it. Today we are at the gorgeous inlet today, trying to catch some big time fish for maybe bringing back to one of our saltwater ponds or aquariums. That's the goal today. You never know what's gonna happen though. First things first, we're gonna get the drone in the sky because I don't usually fly it here, but because the water is so blue, we gotta get the bird in the sky, see if there's any big fish around. Now while flying the drone, you guys can see how clear that water is. It was just low tide, but the tide just switched. So now it's incoming tide and all that bright blue, clear ocean water is coming through the inlet. I freaking love seeing this. It's like my, my favorite time of the day is incoming tide when that water is just super crystal clear blue and you can see absolutely everything. Saw a lot of big tarpon swimming around in the inlet today. There was only one that was really able to be caught. He was swimming in the middle of the canal. So it was a little bit easier to cast on him and Jack threw his bait out real in a little bit and the tarpon came up to eat it. He was about to eat it, but then a boat came and scared him off. So that's what kind of sucks with fishing in the inlet because the boats swim by constantly back and forth and it scares the fish. So that tarpon was about to eat that bait. We would have had a nice tarpon on the line, but that boat scared him, unfortunately. But there's still a bunch of big fish around. Today, the tarpon are the most prevalent. It used to be last week was the snook. Usually this spot isn't that loaded up, but recently it's been loaded up. I haven't seen it like this in years. So we got snook and tarpon all around the inlet and it's a good time to catch fish. Now, a couple weeks ago, I actually came to film one of my videos on Fish Guy Chris channel and Jack actually came and pulled up and started snook fishing and I have video jack catching two big boy snook they were extra large it's one of the best fishing here in florida is snook fishing they're electric absolutely electric fish to catch so we caught two of those guys and we we're only one week out i think september 1st the start of snook season so that's when we can actually eat them again for the next week we can still play games with these guys but once september 1st hits it's back on that grill and hopefully we can catch some more snook. All right, it's time to start our journey for Mr. Needlefish, Mr. Needle. Now we don't know how big of one we're actually gonna catch today since there's not that many around. Usually there's a boatload of them here, but today it's slim pickings. Beggars can't be choosers. So let's fill this cooler up. We're gonna get a bunch of water. It's so funny how last week we were here and the whole inlet was bait. We caught a bunch of snook. Now you come here a week later, hardly any bait fish. And we've seen one snook and that tarpon few different tarpon, but, oh, there's my bait. <clears throat> We're using shrimp today, baby. <sighs> Luckily, a needlefish is a very slender fish, like myself. You don't need much water. That'll do it. Gotta use the back, not the legs. Right, Chris? Right. Oh my God, you know how hard I work to put that lid back on? All right, trying to break the skunk early today. Gonna go for the, the luxurious mangrove snapper. Shout out, Richard Shah. There he is. I think that's a grover. That's a Grover. Oh, short. Broke the skunk though. Broke the skunk with a mango snapper first one of the day. So this guy is too small, not too a keeper. Small, bro. He's probably what, eight inches? They gotta be 10. Look at how clean he is compared to the ones we catch at your dock. Yeah, no. You can see a serious difference. The ones at the dock are much darker. This is obviously an ocean snapper because he's so white and shiny. All right, broke the skunk. It's the most important thing on a fishing day. See ya, buddy. He gone. All right, let's make a move. We're going over there. Snook, tarpon, snappers, needle fish. Let's roll. No shark. Snook. No shark. Snook. Where's the mullet? I just saw a shark swimming right by us. Are you sure? Jack thinks it's a snook, but it was confirmed a nurse shark. Listen, optimistic, optimism. I don't know why you're fishing that right You'd now. You'd be surprised. Oh, needlefish. Needlefish is trying to eat it. I'm telling you, man, there was a big nurse shark swimming right underneath us, right here. Sure it wasn't a snook. I'm pretty sure it was a, it was a, a tarpon. nurse shark, not a tarpon. All right, let's get out of here. We gotta go. Now we're we going to the real fish. spot. You gotta find the fish, that's the thing. 
We came last time, the fish were everywhere all along this wall. Guess what, they moved. Now we're gonna go to their spot. That's all it is with fishing. You got to find the fish. There's Grover's right here, dude. Look, look, film the water. Watch this. Watch this Grover come up for the attack. Look at him. Look at how many there are, Grover's. Look how many Grover's. Oh my God, there's so many. I told, one just got it. He dropped it out. He spit it. You watch, you fire a shrimp in there. We don't have a shrimp. Yeah, we do. Oh, we have dead shrimp. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. All right, one cast over to the tarpon land because we did have a follow-up. So you gotta fire it out there, let it work. Work it, work it, work it. You never know, could get exploded. But listen, if you're not casting and you're not fishing, you ain't gonna catch. I had a tarpon that was in the deep come right up to it. All right, we're going whole shrimp style. You guys saw what those snappers did to my, to my lure. So we're gonna see if they're gonna do it to I'm something. I'm gonna try to follow your shrimp. I don't think I will be able to. Let's see. This is a pond worthy fish that we will have in the pond very soon if we can catch some big mangrove snappers. Dude, now they don't want it. They only like the fluke. Got him. There's a snook right there too. He, this guy's too small. This guy's definitely small. Snook there? Yeah, there's a snook right, right down there. Look at that, Grover. Still a small guy. That's a, Still, probably the yeah. smallest one in that school. Yeah, literally. That's why they call him a snapper. Because they snap. Snapper. There we go, mangrove snapper. Second one of the day. There's definitely like some that are four or five times the size. Look at that snapper. That is a gorgeous fish. Thank you for playing, Mr. Snapper. I'm gonna send you back home because there's lots of fish over there that need to be eaten. Goodbye. Shout out, Bridge Fisher. Shout out, yeah, shout out, Bridge Fisher. Guys, we see a very, a very feisty species down there who is looking to eat. Extremely. God. You guys will see when we catch them right here what it is. Problem is getting through those SMs, Jack. Dude, it, it's virtually impossible. You're, going, you're getting down there? <sighs> trying to. Just, you almost just went in. Yeah, that was almost extremely detrimental to me. We're not getting through that. Yes, we are, bro. You gotta keep trying. Can you throw me a shrimp? Oh my God. I've got him. How did I know that was gonna happen? He's back for more. I haven't seen this many fumbles in a while, Jack. We need a net. I'm on a dry streak. Yeah, you're on a major dry streak. You get the bites. You gotta hold the rock, dude. You can't let it come out of your hands. If it's fourth and nine, and you gotta get nine yards, and you end up getting 10, but then you fumble it, what's, what's the, the point? point? What's the point? Yeah, no, you're right. Exactly. Then what's Little the point? Little words of wisdom. Come on, but No way. The mangrove snapper ate that small, tiny piece. You, dude, you could be right. This is a stealth. This is a stealth bait. It's something they're more used to seeing. Oh, whoa! That's the needles. Whoa, bro, dude! That, that's the needles, bro. Why is he hopping, bro? He just got tweaked out and started jumping around, bro. What? What was his reasoning behind that, Jack? He was scared of the fish guys. Yep. He saw the fish guys and tried to run. Mango snapper, Bridgefisher. Number three. Hashtag Bridgefisher. See you, buddy. Now, for everyone who doesn't know what hashtag bridge fisher means, that was Jack's friend growing up who would only fish the bridges and catch a mangrove snappers. That was his favorite thing to do. So, he still loves catching mangrove snappers. So, hashtag shout out the bridge fisher because we catch mangrove snappers. Shout out bridge fisher. <laughs> it's an inside funny. joke. We're just letting you in on it, okay? So, now it's not an inside joke. It's, it, I can't set hook. Chris, these will bend out. You know the whispers. Jack is 0 for 2 on the main target of the day. It's not the main target. No, it's not the main target, but it's, it was a side side quest. I've got him chomped. Jack got him. Jack. Let's go. Oh my God. Duh. I told you he'd shank the hook. He'd shank the hook. Let's go. Last second. Don't give up. Ladies and gents, if you could feel this mouth, it's, it's a cement. It's sending hook into this, right here. That is one of the weirdest fish ever, bro. Whoa! <laughs> Let's go. That right there is a Batolio. It's the right funniest there. fish. That is I'm the sorry, it is the funniest fish that swims in the ocean. Yeah, absolutely. It yeah. is the funniest fish. And he doesn't even care. He'll go back in the ocean right now and eat, start eating. Yeah, he'll start eating right away. Now drop a like on this video if you guys think we should put one of those in the pond. Let's but get 10,000 likes on this video and we'll come right back and we'll catch this guy and we'll put him inside. A little bit of a bigger one. Maybe a little bigger, but this is a good size one, bro. If you guys can feel it, it's not slimy. It's just like, it's so, it's, it's a cool fish, dude. It's magnificent. It's a magnificent file fish. <laughs> I can't believe we got him. That's epic. Let's go. Aye, okay, he's flying back home. <laughs> Let's go. 
10,000 likes, we're gonna get a big one for the giant saltwater pond. Drop it down. Now there's a slight rare occurrence. I don't know if it's rare, but there is Ballyhoo in the inlet. Ballyhoos, which is pretty much needlefish twin. But these are bait fish and all the fish, fish love to eat these guys. And Earl would enjoy a Ballyhoo. We might have to do a whole video of catching Ballyhoos for Earl as Jack breaks his rod. I need shrimp. Oh, that one made the wrong decision. You're gonna meet Earl, my friend. You're gonna meet Earl, my friend. Spaghetti's on the menu for Earl. Let's go. That That's is so huge. ultimate spaghetti for Earl right there. That's perfect size, honestly, too. Yes, it is. Whoa. He just threw up some shrimp. That is Earl's spaghetti. He's, yeah. he's been waiting for this moment, Literally, honestly. And don't feel bad for this thing at all. Literally, if you want a top secret from the fish guys, this is one of the best snook baits, is needlefish. You put this on the bottom, you catch it. So technically, this is a sort of bait fish. There's too many of them. There's so many of them and they're really good bait. And today, instead of being snook bait right now, he's gonna be Earl food. He's gonna be Earl bait. So Earl spaghetti. It's no different than keeping pilchards or mullet. It's a fish, you know? Earl's pumped. Earl's pumped. I might give him, I might shoot him a text right now and say, yo, needlefish <laughs> on the way. Put him in there for a second. Let me Let's get situated. Go. That's huge. Look at the size of that freaking French. Holy, Holy cow. Holy ball sack. That French angel fish is a dinner plate, bro. Dude, that's the biggest French angel I've ever seen in my life. You can see it, you can, the only way you can see him on the camera is his yellow spots. He's so yellow. That big yellow blob right there? That's the biggest Frenchie I've ever seen in my life. That is a mega French angel that I think needs to be. Dude, that is giant. I want to catch that. Bro. That is huge. Pots and pans could not eat that thing. No, they could not even fit that in this mouth. That could be in the pond for sure. That is insane. We might have to go for it. Dude, I don't have a hook anymore. I know, in another video. Dude, we've seen so many of them here. We've just, they've eluded us every single Look time. Look at that thing, bro, it's huge. It is a monster though. Pretty Anyone nice. has any tips on how to catch French angelfish from land, let us know down in the comments because that is the most elusive fish in the history of the world. I'm telling you that right now, we've never even hooked one before. No. So elusive. We got Mr. Earl here and he's looking for some spaghetti. As you can see, he's ready to go. He's got his claw out and we're gonna feed Earl a needlefish today. Let's do it. Let's see if he wants, if he likes spaghetti. All right, there we have it, Mr. Needlefish right here. Nice piece of spaghetti for Mr. Earl. This guy's got some raging teeth. He we like feeding Earl big meals. Big this, old meals. This is a good meal for him. You ready? All right, Early. Here you go, buddy. Big meals, give him everything. Here comes Earl. Look at that spaghetti. Look at that spaghetti. Oh, here comes Earl. Here comes Earl, ladies and gents. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 he got it. He got him. Atta boy, Game Earl. Over. Atta boy, Earl. It's all about giving Earl that good good, man. Yeah. He's Earl, a good fish. He's my favorite pet we have is Earl. He's a and crustacean. He, crustacean, yeah, he's not a fish. Thank you, bro. He's Look a good that. crustacean. He is dragging that thing back to his hole and he is gonna grub up on that like you can never even imagine. Look Holy at that. cow. He's got double clamps on him. Nice, Earl. Making he's sure he feast. doesn't get away. He is gonna feast. Bro. Earl is gonna go crazy on this thing. Let's go, Earl. He loves. Earl. He loves Italian. Earl. Yeah, he's Italian. He's an Italian. He's yeah. such an Italian. He's already eating it. He's, he's already eating it. He's eating spaghetti. He's eating it. He's tearing it up. He's tearing it up. You go, Earl. You enjoy that. You enjoy that noodle. There you go. Just put the clamp on him. Oh my God! Do you hear that? Getting the fins. Yeah, he's going for his chips. He's going for his chips. Yeah, he's getting the fins first. Wow. Love the chips. He's a savage dude. This guy doesn't play. No. This guy doesn't play. <laughs> Here we go. More chips. He's going to go over the tail. He's going to eat that tail up, pick it apart. Eat that up nice and crunchy for Earl. You go, buddy. Once he, uh, I think he's just got to get a bit of an opening. Usually we feed him, actually we fed him quite a few of live fish before, but usually we'll feed him the carcass that has the meat already exposed. It makes it super easy for him to get up in there, but once he finds one opening, he's gonna go to absolute work and grub up on Mr. Needle right here. I think there. right now he's just protecting his, his catch because we're right here. Yeah, he might bury him, honestly. Yeah, he might bury him. And if you notice, all the pilchard in here are gone. He ate all the pilchard. He lives a good life. He buried them all. Oh, He just squeezed it and exploded his eyes. <laughs> Did he really? I swear to God, his eyes just juiced. He squeezed it so hard it exploded. Now, as you can see, Earl has yet to decline any sort of meal that we present him. We gave him a mutton snapper, a mangrove, we gave him pilchard, we gave him absolutely everything, including this needlefish right here. He does not back down from any sort of meal. 
I absolutely love doing these fittings videos and we have yet to find something that is outmatched Earl. So drop comments down below of what you guys think we should feed him next. There's a million different things we can go. We can go catch, you know, a kingfish and feed him a kingfish. You know, we can feed him a million different things. Barracuda, we can feed him tons of stuff and it's always fun and cool watching Earl eat. And after, right after this clip, uh, I was sitting in the tank room watching him and he buried this needlefish so far under the sand to save it for later. It was crazy. He loves to bury it and then take it back out when he's hungry again. So it's really cool to watch. Now he's pretty defensive when we get close to the, to the glass here because he's trying to protect that meal. But once we backed off, he ate an absolute ton of this needlefish, buried it, saved it for later. And he's gonna continue to eat this for the next day or two. All right, you guys, there you have it. We just fed Earl his first piece of spaghetti. Since he is an Italian lobster, we just fed him a needlefish, AKA a piece of spaghetti. Don't forget 10,000 likes on this video. We'll go catch a Batolio and put it inside of the pond. That was a big, beautiful one right there. And I think it would add some great color to the salt water pond. I hope you all did enjoy today's video and we'll catch you all in that next one later.